Hello guys and welcome back to episode 50 of Started From The Bottom. It's been an amazing series so far. We've taken Bath City up and up and up and up in the divisions. And now we come back for today, episode 50, and we've got a Champions League semi-final. We're taking on Manchester United. It's, it's going to be a tough one, as, as is expected. Let's get into it. <laughs> Okay then, English team versus English team. We are away in the first leg at Old Trafford against Manchester United. It's the Champions League semi-final, a place in history at stake. Um, last time out, you would have seen us uh, lose, sadly, in the FA Cup against Liverpool 4-3 in extra time. And off camera, we 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 beat Liverpool one 0 um, It's the first time that we've done that. We've done we 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 got a result against them in the league. We were at home. Uh, Liverpool rotated their team quite heavily. If you look at it, there's uh, no Salah, no Mane, um, no Virgil Van Dijk. They didn't play um, Gravenberch, who scored two in the other game. So Liverpool heavily rotated from the Premier League side. I rotated a little bit, um, but not as much. And we came out on top with the goal, thanks to Emmanuel from a set piece. Now, if I load this up, the Brazilian did pretty well in uh, in getting up and getting the goal in past Alisson. Alisson, who is a phenomenal goalkeeper on this game. Vega in, rises at the near post and Emmanuel heads in. Um, as I said, it's, it, it was a tough one and it's my first victory against Liverpool in seven matches. Um, we've lost the other six. So the Premier League's... Mm, yeah. Chelsea and I have now played the same amount of uh, games. Um, there's a four-point gap. Don't think we're going to be able to close that. Um, so the team I'm looking at then, in which case, is Manchester United. They've currently played a game more than us. Um, so obviously, if we do win our game in hand, we'll go two points behind them in the league. Um, but at, the, at this moment, I think it's very unrealistic to think that they think that we are going to crack into that top four for the second time um, since being in the Premier League. If you take a look at our schedule, we've got, dare I say, mixed games. Uh, West Brom away. West Brom are currently in 16th, so that's not too, too bad. Leeds are the team chasing us down, though, in sixth. And we want to, at the very least, qualify for the Europa League for next season. Then we've got fourth place Chelsea and then already relegated Blackburn. So... Premier League is balanced, balanced. I'd say. I, I still don't think it's realistic that we are going to get into the, into that top four, um, and maybe the only way that we could qualify for the Champions League for next season is by winning it this season. Um, and that is that is where we go now, guys. We are going to the match preview. We are taking on Manchester United. We've actually got a decent record against Manchester United, to be perfectly honest. Um, we've played them seven times, and they've won twice. We've won five times. Um, not a lot of draws in this game. Um, we are the away side. Manchester United are the favourites. Let's get into the team selection. Uh, in the game against Liverpool, though, I did rest a couple of players. Um, so I rested Amakanji, I rested Fury, I rested Bilbao. Um, so we've got this team to today, basically, as fit as I could possibly get them. And we've got Bailey in goal, Wink, Amakanji, Menji, Anwar, Bilbao, Ildreton, O'Neill, Fury, Azevedo, Vega. Obviously, we've got options on the bench. Rivas is super, super tired now, um, down to 86%. Emmanuel, the goal scorer last time out, also very tired. So Tatum Menji comes back into the team. Um, we've got options on the bench in terms of Leon, uh, Muzo, Aitnori to, to freshen things up. But fingers crossed we can do something at Old Trafford. I'd quite like us to get an away goal. I think if we can get an away goal, that really does set things up nicely. Here is the Manchester United team then. Obviously, they've still got some players in there that we do recognise. Uh, Wan-Bissaka. I don't know how you say that guy's name from Celtic. Aya, Ake, Jude Bellingham, Lazabal, Sancho, Dybala. Um, obviously, they've gone with Santa Maria back up front again. This guy's class. His goal-scoring record for Manchester United is just next level. Um, and they've got some interesting players on the bench as well. Uh, Grimaldo, De Gea, Rashford. Um, Diallo, their new gen as well. Mohamedou Diallo, he looks filth. He scored a lovely goal against me last time. Uh, and Chris Mepham as well. So it's, it's delicately in the balance at Old Trafford. Um, 
I'm passionately going to say, boys, we've got nothing to lose here. That did not go down too well. Um, I, let's give them all the passionate I have faith in you to go out there and make a difference. Everyone seems motivated or happy as we take to the field at Old Trafford. Interesting to see, though, that Manchester United haven't actually played the hair. I've not actually looked at this goalkeeper to see if he's any good. Ten minutes into the game, Amakanji picks up a book in his 11th of the season. Uh, as Vega gets the ball here, Felix Fury looks for Vega down this left-hand side. Vega gets it into the penalty area. Still advancing Valentin Vega, hits it straight at the goalkeeper. First shot on target, um, not too bad. A little bit worried that both my centre-backs are now booked. But Valentin Vega with the corner then. Santa Maria gets up and heads it clear. Wink with the ball. Wink's not actually played a great deal this season, and that's potentially why. Um, Dybala robs the, the short pass. Knocks it back to Santa Maria, who fires wide of the goal. That was an unreal chance from Manchester United. Seemed to butcher it a little bit there. Dybala with the set piece. Santa Maria. Sancho nods it in. And the referee pulls it back. VAR says Jaden Sancho is offside. Dybala with the ball in. Flicked on by Santa Maria. And Sancho just, just offside. Anwar with the throw in then, deep into the penalty area. Vega gets it, flicks it on. Phil O'Neill is there. <laughs> and now it's our turn to be disappointed by VAR. Anwar, long throw into the penalty area. Vega flicks it on. Phil O'Neill is offside before, for, before volleying that in. One goal disallowed for each side though. That's, that does balance things out. Dybala with the set piece. Santa Maria... And Christoph Ayer this time probably punishing me because I couldn't didn't know how to say his name. Flicks in here. Dybala with the set piece. Santa Maria. Whoever number 33 is, I don't know. Winks playing him on side. And the big man, formerly from Celtic, gets the goal. Azevedo's got a knock, so I'm gonna have to make a sub. Um let's put Ildreton there. And we'll bring on Christian Muzzo. Um, I don't really have as much faith in Fusto. Ildreton with the ball into the, uh, into the penalty area, though. Cleared. Wink. Back to Ildreton. Ashley Ildreton. Come on, you Australian beauty. Only his third goal of the season. He's not long come back from breaking his ribs. And that gets us the away goal that we need. Takes the free kick from deep and then just pushes forward. Wink gets the ball. Tees him up. First time strike. Low, hard, into the bottom left-hand corner of the goal. Past the Manchester United goalkeeper. Oof, that is what we needed. We needed that away goal. That's how we qualified past Chelsea. Amakanji looks for the ball up long. Vega seems to nod that down to Erdogan. Out to O'Neill on this left-hand side. Goes past Wambasaka like he's not even there. Valentin Vega! Oh, the man who you want it to fall to. Valentin Vega doesn't get it done. Game is 1-1. We're kind of FMing them a little bit. Five shots, two on target. 15-6 and six for them. We are kind of FMing them a little bit. I'm passionately going to say now is the time to dig in. We deserve to win this match, so let's go and do it. 50 minutes on the board then, and Manchester United have a set piece deep in our half. Jude Bellingham with the ball all the way out to wan on this right-hand side. He's inside the penalty area. Cross comes in. Wink clears it. Muzo pumps it clear. Vega will apply the pressure to the centre-back here. Not too worried about it. Dybala versus Phil O'Neill. Back to wan -Bissaka. Ball into the penalty area. Sancho heads it and it's just over the bar there. I think I might have to change Wink. I'm, I'm, I really want Rivas back for this second game. I had to rest him because he's exhausted, but really need him back for this second game. Vega, set piece. Christian Muzo. Oh, big, big chance for the Italian there. Keeper rolls it out to Ake. Centre-back's playing it nicely out into the central midfield spot. Here comes Dybala. Ball over the top. Is that Santa Maria? That is a great... That was Santa Maria. And that was a phenomenal save by Noel Bailey. 65 on the board then. We are still in that cautious mentality. We get the ball clear there through Amakanji. And Bilbao pushes further forward and gets another clearance to push the ball back into the United area. And ending the highlight there. 20 minutes of the game to go. Bellingham back to wan -Bissaka. Or over the top to Jude Bellingham, the wonder kid. Bailey comes out. What are you doing, Bailey? Absolutely nowhere near it. 
Juan Diego Santa Maria with the goal. His 22nd of the game of the game of the season. Nice, well worked move here. Out to Bellingham. Lovely cross from Jude Bellingham. Keeper goes out, gets cried out by his own centre backs. And Santa Maria out jumps Wink. Not good. I am actually okay with losing 2-1. Now we've got the away goal. I think we can score against United at home. As Felix Fury's got the ball. Christian Muzzo looks for Phil O'Neill out on this right-hand side. Phil O'Neill, ball across. Bilbao! Oh, Matthias Bilbao, that's such a big goal. Oh, the man for the big occasion, Matthias Bilbao. Welcome back, man. Argentinian from Velez. Muzzo has other ideas about losing this game 2-1. Out to Phil O'Neill here on this right hand side. Ball across and Bill Bow jumps and the the left back didn't. Um, I don't know who that left back is. Lundqvist. Not doing the best there. Not getting on it with Bill Bow. 2-2. Two, two, two away goals. <sighs> Amakanji with the ball. Menji. Looks for Felix Fury. Doesn't get there. Back to wan where they're doing quite good work. Down this right-hand side for Manchester United. Dybala's been a menace all game. Santa Maria heads it just wide of the goal. I'm actually going to go to a defensive mentality and make a few changes. Um, Ashley Alderton, you've been superb, my friend, but you're coming off, unfortunately. Oh, actually, no, you're not. I'm going to drop you back into central midfield. Drop you back alongside Muzo. We're going to play a bank of four. Fury's going to come in there, and you're going to be my box-to-box -box midfielder on support, Ildreton. Fury's going to stay as that attacking midfielder. And then I'm going to swap. Mm, yeah, let's actually bring on a defender instead of Anwar and hope that we can see this game out as a 2-2. Rian Nori on Christian Muzzo alongside Ildreton for the final few minutes there. Menji with the free kick back at Old Trafford for the former Manchester United player. O'Neill into Muzzo. Ildreton again into Felix Fury. Oh, Valentin Vegas through. Big save. Matthias Bilbao. Follow it in. 3-2. 3-2. Don't disallow that referee. Come on. Three away goals at Old Trafford. We secure a massive, massive victory. We've got the lead going into the home game. Oh, if we score at home, then that's basically the tie over. Vega denied by Guzman and Matias Bilbao following in for his second of the game. We've definitely FM Manchester United here. We've got bookings galore. Who cares? Oh, come on, boys. We get that result. 3 2 against Manchester United. Ruud van Nistelrooy. Yes, that was a very special assistant manager. We are extremely delighted. Oh my god. What an episode for number 50. 3 2. Away at Old Trafford. Manchester United losing again to us. Matthias Bilbao, 91st minute. Young Bass shine against Manchester United. Azevedo injured, only out for one to two days. Amakanji and Felix Fury are tired again. Bilbao on form. You were superb, my friend. Uh, and the Argentina manager spotted there conveniently as he um, saw Matias Bill by there, who's not been capped uh, by Argentina, surprisingly. Um, 23 years of age, no caps, no youth caps either. Um, looking forward to seeing if he does get into the Argentina squad. Now on the schedule, guys, we've got West Brom. We will proceed. Oh, Premier League game now. I hope this doesn't disappoint other Champions League semi-final. I'd actually love Real Madrid to knock Liverpool out only because I don't have the best record against Liverpool. Paul Torres, centre-back. Wow, gets the goal. Um, Liverpool yet uh, didn't score. What was the team that they put out? Alisson, Trent, Van Dijk, Marquinhos, Lewis, Fabinho, Post, Gravenberg, Salah. That's, that's their starting eleven. Maybe you'd say... Foden in as well. Big game, big result from Real Madrid who are full of full of unbelievable talent still. Interesting. Both ties poised. Lovely. I'd still back Liverpool. Oh god, assistant says I've got to make all the subs and I'm going to. Um because obviously we have this game against Manchester United coming up, and I want to be in that Champions League final, boys and girls. I want to be, especially at 3-2 up in three away goals, I want to be in that Champions League final. Right, 
it's Premier League time. We're taking on West Brom at the Hawthorns. West Brom um, are currently, where are West Brom in the table? Currently 16th. So they are in a relegation battle, actually. There's a couple of teams that could push into the safety zone. And we've got a very decent record against West Brom. Obviously, they were one of the teams that uh, got promoted, as we did, um, out of the championship. And I think they've been here ever since. I'm pretty confident. Um, we need to keep the pressure on Manchester United. have obviously played that game in hand. We are the only Premier League match that is happening right now. Um, another sold-out game that we are taking part in. Um, we have got to rotate basically everyone. Um, I'm actually going to over-rotate. Amakanji can come off as well. And I'm going to give Vega a rest. Lewis Wells is going to play. Um, we're just going to swap everyone around, basically. Um, that is going to be the team... In which case, it's going to be faces that you've not seen before. Um, here's Beatty. Rivas is... Oh, do I rest Rivas as well? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest Rivas for the Champions League game. Menchi, yeah, right. Okay, this is going to be a full, full rotation, guys. So, Beatty in goal. Um, Wink, Menchi, Denham, Eight Nori, Ilderton, Muzo, Anwar, Wellens, uh, Barbara Gatella, and Lewis Wells from TNS. Um making his uh, debut for us up front, actually. Um, if I could, could I rest Anwar potentially? Potentially, potentially. No, I don't have enough players to rest him as well. Okay, it's going to be an interesting one. Hopefully, Muzo and Anwar can drag the team through. Um, we've obviously got Leon on the bench as well, but I'm going to give the advance forward the run out here. Um, interesting team for West Brom, um, Herbie Kane, Tahith Chong, Delefeu, uh, this Hornby guy always seems to do pretty well against me, Fraser Hornby, um, from his time at West Ham, um, instructions are already set, passionately, we are favourites for a reason, go out and do it, Wink was inspired, um, having had a poor, uh, turnout against Manchester United in the Champions League, we've rotated basically everybody, in a hope that everyone is fresh for the Champions League, but we need to keep the top four um, pressure on as we get a set piece and Wells heads over the bar there. It's his debut for us. He's not played before. Um, big time to do it. Big time to come up come up trumps for, for the young Welshman here who we got from TNS. Gerard Delafeu is injured and is replaced by Mitrovic by West Brom. Uh, 30 minutes in this one. And nothing really happening thus far. We are kind of lacking in terms of creativity, but I need to give players a rest for this Champions League game. Another set piece in, and Wells heads over the bar. These are chances that you'd hope Valentin Vega would put in, but at 90%, I just can't, I just can't risk him, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm going to agree with the assistant. That was disappointing. Obviously, we do have Bailey in goal, so I do have that safety net at the back, but it's going to be a tough one to get a result at West Brom. Obviously, as I said, they are kind of fighting for their lives here. Do I make some changes? Ooh, yeah, okay, 66 minutes in, I'm going to make some changes. Fusto can come on for Wellens, who's been playing pretty poor. And Leon can come on for Wells up front. Advance forward for advance forward. And hopefully Leon can bag a goal for us. Um, bringing on a little bit more creativity in full so as well. Nothing really going on in this game. I just saw that Anwar's exhausted. Ildreton's exhausted. Um, but I don't, I don't want to bring anyone on. I, d I don't want to risk anyone. So we're just going to see out this game. And it's probably going to be a dull, boring nil-nil, guys. Um... But with the Champions League semi-final at stake, I needed to rotate. I needed to, I needed to prioritize that competition. Um, hardly any highlights in that. I'm going to say it was disappointing. Everyone looked fired up, which is kind of good. Um, so that gap to Manchester United is now four points with three games to go. Um, not looking likely um, that we're going to do anything there. Manchester City and Liverpool fighting out at the top of the league. They've got a nice big gap down to Manchester United and Chelsea. Oh... Injury war injury worry for Delafeu. Wells makes his Bath City debut. As I mentioned, if we jump into the schedule then, guys, we will be back for 
the second leg of the semi-final of the Champions League against Manchester United and then a big crunch game to probably decide who comes fifth between ourselves and Leeds United. It's been an unreal 50th episode, guys. Um, who'd have thought we'd get that result in the Champions League? Definitely not me. Um, definitely not thinking that we'd be leading that tie going into the second leg um, with three away goals. If you have enjoyed the video guys and if you are enjoying this series don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you are not already but for now guys i'll see you very soon for another episode of starting from the bottom